Jesus. Tell you right now, the easiest way to get a gold jointed bracelet is just to steal it from a lady NPC. Look for one in Sandini with a fancy hat or on a train, and you have a better than 75% chance of getting one on your first try. However, if you're like me and worried about honor, there are four locations where you can pick up a gold jointed bracelet for free. Here's Arthur in Chapter 2 with four. He only needs one, but we live in an age of excess, so why not have four? You're okay, girl. The first location is at Adler Ranch in the first mission of Chapter 1. You can find one at the bedside table. This is a random gold jewelry drop. You will get a gold watch, a gold ring, a gold necklace, or the elusive gold jointed bracelet. If you don't pick it up on the first try, you can trash the mission and start over, or exit the game and start over. I suppose, technically, this is Sadie's gold jointed bracelet, and I wish it were possible to give it back to her, but regrettably, all she wants from Arthur is a harmonica. The second location is at this broken down wagon at Twin Stack Pass. This is also a random gold drop, but you can manipulate the results by making a hard save before you open the chest. And we got the watch, so we shall reload the save and try again. If you accidentally load the autosave, no big deal, just go back and reload the hard save. It may take several tries, or through the magic of editing, you may get one immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Now we head to Southfield Flats at Maddock Pond under the tea in Scarlet Meadows. You need to make another save before we enter the cabin. There's a crime scene here, which we shall ignore, and instead head over to the fireplace to see what we can find. Jesus. And here's the gold necklace, so we shall reload the save.
Jesus. And there's the gold jointed bracelet, and I know you're all wondering about that cigarette card, so Arthur will show you. It's Lawrence Dunn from Stars of the Stage. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day. Lastly, we need to do the second Hosea mission in Chapter 2, which introduces you to Seamus and opens up the fence. Hey, Hosea, good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. Let's wait. Grab the cash from the fireplace. I always get the apple as a treat for the horse. Then sneak upstairs where Seamus's cousin, by marriage, is asleep. The gold jointed bracelet is in the wardrobe. As far as I know, this is the only stable location for a gold jointed bracelet. And that's what one looks like before it goes into your satchel. And that should be number four for you. You can't hunt the legendary gator until chapter five, so just keep it in your inventory and don't accidentally sell it to Seamus. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like and subscribe for more videos and we shall meet again further on down the trail. Get on, dear boy.